All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Orbital Bullet, a game where you are effectively going around in, in a circle, fighting enemies, presumably collecting power-ups. I'm not entirely sure how this game is going to go. It's been on my list of games that I've wanted to play for a while, I just haven't gotten around to it, but seeing as we are currently, uh, well, doing kind of a, a weird... I'm doing a, a super extended demo-thon lightning round thing where I'm just checking out as many... A many, bleh, as many of these demos as I possibly can in as short of a period of time as possible. I, it's a perfect opportunity. Let's dive right in. Okay, those sound effects need to go down. The ambience is fine. But. Okay, so my, my gun's out of juice. Oh, I see. Dodge under the rocks. Got it. Enter base. Cool. I can word. Disable alert. Grab ammo. Dim to bugs. Okay, low ammo. Start level. This will be fun. Okay. There we go. I gotta remember to actually dodge. J just jumping over enemies might not be the most kosher. Okay, so even my basic weapon has limited ammo here. Okay, left bumper, right bumper to go to the next sector. Fair enough. I was wondering how this specifically... Oh. There we go. Okay, spike's bad. That doesn't look like I can do anything further. There we go. So I guess I'll just go around. Bang. There we go. Looks like enemies don't... Ow. Okay, so that... Hopefully I can get a gun that's a little bit... Oh, that's how we get over here. Okay, there we go. Ow. Rude. Stay away from that. I am going to get clobbered here. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. Is there... There's an, another one of these guys that just popped up. Okay. I want to get this? What are you? I have no idea. So we can switch circles using this. Boomerang. Swap weapons. Uh, There we go. That's... Alright. That's neat. Enter upgrade station. Laser boots. Doing a double jump will shoot a laser out of your boots. Increase explosive damage with weapons and upgrades. Dropping an explosive bomb after dodge rolling. Okay. We want to go for that. Oh, so it's like a skill tree. Got it. Now what are you? Oh, shoot. Ow. I see. That's how we just jump up. Well, thank you, Boomerang, for being at least interesting. Whoops. Uh, let's see. Nope. That's how I... That's how I sh shoot. Right trigger is also shoot. But left trigger? Uh, okay, these are bombs. Do I have anything else? Not overwhelmingly. Switch circle. We've clearly got some stuff here. Shotgun. Yeah, I'm gonna do shotgun instead of the pistol. I like the idea of the pistol, but... We got more toys to play with. Okay, so it doesn't look like it'll let me put more points into that, so I... I don't know. Uh, I guess I have to manually teleport. Oh, there we go. Where am I going? Oh. But there's... There's this. Switch cylinder. Okay. Well, I like the idea of the laser boots. It's a good way to save some ammo here. Not that ammo has been particularly in short supply. And my guns are pretty 
Dang good. Oh, did I did I die? Did I get him? I don't know. Up we go. One way or another, I love the presenta presentation here. I... There we go. Just going in kind of this this circle. I <laughs> I guess I'm gonna say it. It reminds me of a game I used to play when I was a kid. Grenade launcher. Let's try a little bit of everything here. I used to play Pokemon Puzzle League back in the day. And one of the levels, at least, was on this, like, uh, giant circle. And it was really hard, but I loved the idea of it. It was, like, one of the first times I'd ever played a game with, like, full 3D. Oh, here we go. So now I get to choose. Reduce explosive damage, triple jump, environmental damage, or stun chance, energy damage, re really... Ah, uh, we want to go this way. Triple jump sounds fun. Of course, I'm going to have to go for it. Make damage on environmental objects and create your own paths. I'm going to grab that. Translation seems to be a little uh, hit and miss here, but honestly, it don't matter. Okay. So, not feeling the grenade launcher that much. It's great if it can hit, but it flies high. Okay. Oh, I was too slow. So there's kind of a reason a reason for speed. Ow. There we go, got him. Oh. Crouching. Okay. Switch back to the shotgun. Okay, I'm safe. I'm currently safe here. Oh, is it these guys that were causing it to explode? I think that's the case. All right, rifle fires 180 degree bullets. Boomerang. 50 crystals unlock sniper and upgrade station. I'll go for the triple jump. So that didn't cost anything. I wish I had enough crystals for the sniper, but alas. Okay, so I'm gonna buy the rifle. I don't know how long this game lasts, so I figured we're just going to... Oh, 180 degree bullets means they probably... Uh, they probably last for quite a while. All right, we go up. Oh. Didn't realize I was here. Alright. So, wow, levels are getting way more complex. There we go. I'm digging this shotgun. It's got the chops I'm looking for. There we go. So obviously I want to go faster. I also got to remember that I have a dodge roll. Because dodge rolls are important. SMG. Ah, oh, that's fun. Can I go up? No, there's something I'm missing. Oh, the answer is actually yes. I go up here manually. There we go. Let's just let's get rid of that. Near death. Understanding is important, though, and if I do another run of this, I'm going to... I'm not going to say I'm going to rock it, but I'm definitely going to do a lot better than I'm currently doing. Every roguelike has a learning curve. And up we go. Right. I've got triple jump. I should use that. Now... It looks like one of these guys in the center might be shooting at me, so I'm gonna give it a bit of a pass. Like a hot second. Okay, let's kill him. There we go. I think there's one more dude. Whoa! You're a bullet boy. That is understandable. Now this thing looks different. I'll check in a second. 
Oh, this is a boomerang. We know that. Uh, where the heck? Oh. There we go. I was wondering where I went, go to next. So what are you? Enter elevator? Hell yeah. How do I heal? Heck if I know. Maybe I don't. Maybe this is one of those games that you don't heal. Whoop. Damn, I'm dead. <laughs> All right. That's fine. I love the idea of this. Let me move, move this. Oh, okay. Press to level. Okay, so I've got... A couple of triangles. Shop will contain one more item that you can purchase. Gives you the ability to discover different rifts. Rifts. Upgrade a starter weapon. Trigger the combo system after killing four enemies in ten seconds. Give you extra movement speed. Heal pot contains one charge that can heal you. Charge will be refreshed at the start of every level. That's how we heal. I was wondering about that. It's a very, uh... Well, how much are these? Okay. Well, heal pot was worth it. Honestly... Go for the increased shop items and the rift module. Let's upgrade those, and I don't have any other points. Looks like we also get a damage upgrade. All right, why did he use the heal potion? Nice. Start game. Beat the boss to unlock. All right, let's give this another shot. Let's go faster. Now that I know it, now that I absolutely know what I'm doing. I'm so glad I can Goomba Stomp everything. I don't think it's actually that good, but... I don't know. It's kind of fun. Let's grab those, and up we go. You gotta go quick. Whoops. Oh. There we go. One immediate fear. There we go. There's ammo. Ha. One immediate fear, running out of juice. I'm just going to let that happen. There we go. Bam. Everything is going well enough so far, shockingly. Not that shockingly. Oh, that's a rift. I was wondering how we got to those. All right, let's go out to the outer circle. I want to go to the rift, but let's wait on that one for just a smidge. Might as well get what I can on these levels. I know there's uh, there's time-based chests, but I don't think I need to worry about those as much. It also looks like we're getting way more meta currency. Ooh, spooky. Ow. Okay. Take way more meta currency and way more bits. Okay. Blast him. Whoop. Oh! You can mall jump. There we go. Alright. We don't want to jump to the next sector. Ne uh. I think there's an elevator down. Let's go challenge rift. Okay, did I get it? I'm assuming I did. Probably this upgrade station. Okay. Explosive dodge roll, triple jump, or reduce reload time. Go triple jump. Maneuverability is really important to me. Okay, so that's what the rifts do. I wasn't sure. Oh, okay. So I'm stuck. Can't get another one. Grenade launcher, SMG. I like the SMG, but I really like this shotgun. But you know what I really want? The sniper. Let's go for the reduced reload time. I love the fact that that just loops around. Oh, cool. Oh, but I have to have another teleporter to get to it. Hell yeah. 
Ow. Okay, so that, that boy shoots. Up we go. Yep, that reload speed upgrade is uh, really helpful. <laughs> I am ridiculous. We. <laughs> it's so good. All right, grab the boomerang. I'm just gonna. Yeah, that seems about right. Grab that. Don't think I have too much more. What are you? Is this leave level? Really? Already? Dang, I'm fast. All right. Grenade fire, environmental damage, explosive damage, stun chance, environmental damage. Uh, Laser boots. I liked laser boots, but let's go this way. What's this one? Chance to shoot additional grenades when firing a weapon. Hmm. Neat. But if I'm going to be using the sniper rifle, I should probably go for the reload speed. Well, I'm... I'm a smidge faster than I was last time. That's just incredible. Okay. Next sector. That's what I gotta do. Ow. Might as well heal up. Okay, anything else? Yes. If I do that, I don't actually get the crystal. Shoot. Well, now I know. Makes, make environmental, make damage on environment objects and create your own path. Oh. I think that means I can just walk through environmental objects. I could be wrong. Well, it's fine. Okay, so that didn't work. Wait, I forgot. We also have triple jump. So, even though I blew through the... Uh... Oh, there we go. Even though I blew through the environment... There we go. Enter collapse rip rift. Here we go. There we go. I think I got it. I'm not entirely sure what the deal with Collapse Rift is. Open blueprint box. Pick up blueprint. It is the HM gun. I don't know what that does, but that sounds officially fun. Yeah, I don't know what HM means. I mean, it could be hidden machine, but something tells me the developers weren't intending this to be a Pokemon reference. Okay. Whoops. Don't fall in. That looks like we're good. We just got to go up. Oh. But well, while we're here, I don't really think the time boxes are particularly amazing. Oops. No. Oh, because this is a one way. Got it. Aha. I yep, am ridiculous. There we go. Next sector, next sector. I don't see anything else. So I will say, it seems like the sniper rifle is kind of comically good. And yeah, if you can time and place those shots correctly, you pretty much get everything. Uh, let's see, shock, shotgun. Instead of, yeah, 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 yeah. I like the idea of the HM gun, but eh, it just wasn't singing to me in the same way. 
Alright, it's boss time. I feel a bit better about this. Might have something to do with the fact that I've got a sniper rifle. What if I can dodge through those? Yeah, sniper rifle certainly makes this a lot easier. boss. There we go. Problem solved. Alright, so we get end demo. No, pick up blueprint. Gives me the burst rifle. Hell yeah. But let's end, end the demo all the same. Alright. Well, I guess if I hit that button, it brings me onto the demo page, which is kind of not helpful. Okay. Click to open Steam. Game will restart automatically. Will it? I don't know. Anyway, a bit of a short demo, but is what it is. Luckily, we can keep investing in the meta progression if we really feel like it. I see. So it increases the amount of H. Uh, is there a way to increase? Because I see it plus 30 HP and then also damage. Oh, maybe it's the halfway point. Okay, skill modules grant you an, grant you extra skill points. You can spawn in shops now. Let's see. Unlocks the loadout in your base where you can select your start weapons. Increase combo duration. Using your heal pot takes less time. Eh, let's grab the skill point module. Invest in that. I'll invest in whatever I dang well please. There we go. Ah, plus two damage. So it does. It does start giving me stats after a certain point. I I mix on meta progression, but honestly, considering how just fun the basic early levels of this game are, has been, how fun it was, I don't think I mind too much. Uh, and it seems like they give you crazy skill points left and right, so hopefully it doesn't matter too much. All right, let's take a look at what else we can get. Oh, no, 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 skill points are different. Starter skill point, weapon tier up, weapon tier of all found weapons increased. Tends to deal double damage when hitting an enemy. Decreased damage taken while the combo is running. And using a he heal bot starts the combo system. Eh, it's not bad. It's nothing I'm going to be like racing out the door for. But that's good, actually. I like that about... Uh... Select, select challenge. One hit challenge, time challenge. I don't care. <laughs> I do not do challenges. I... I am just not that kind of person. Anyway, uh, the meta progression seems like it's kind of more convenient than actually being terribly necessary. Uh, and I appreciate that. Oh, the skill points are the... It's like the triple jump. Duh. I don't know how I forgot about that. I guess I was just looking at this and it's like, these are... This is kind of skill pointish. And the answer is no. Duh. Anywho. I like it when the meta progression does not seem like it's ne a necessity to beat the game. And in this case, it does not seem like that's the case at all. It definitely helps. But as long as they keep giving crazy points out left and right, I don't mind at all. So, with all that said, uh, let's see, let's, can I go out to the main menu? Main menu, there we go. So, Orbital Bullet is available as part of the Steam Winter Games Festival that's going on right now, I think. I hope it hasn't ended it yet by the time this video goes out, it might have. Uh, but it'll be out at some point. No idea when? Either way, I'm looking forward to it. It's just such a pure and simple roguelike. It didn't need much, and it pulls it off perfectly, and I... I'm really enjoying looking at some of these upgrades. Like, there's some big, beefy guns that I haven't even seen yet. I can't wait to use them. Obviously, it kind of depends on how they handle the end game for this game and some of the other bosses. Like, I could see that being a bit of an issue. But for now, at least, base impressions are good. So, with all this said, uh, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. I'm going to come back to this when it's done done. But until then, I've got a lot of other rad new indie games to check out in the meantime so with that thanks for watching i'll see you next time